guys, I've uh, I make shit up, which I've done a couple of times for you. Mm. Uh, and you know, you might, well, the two new guys won't, but you you and Crap will know what that's like. <coughs> uh, All aboard the USS Make Shit Up. <laughs> or, or I can continue with the um, uh, I can continue with the convention uh, scenarios. Or I can go and look at Shadowrun missions, uh, actual uh, the um, Shadowrun missions that they run monthly in America, and see if they're um, any good or not. And those are the three choices that I can give you. A fourth choice is that one of you makes shit up instead. Yeah. <laughs> I, I say you do whatever you're most com- you're most comfortable with. You're the one who's you know making up the scenarios and stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah. I mean, if you if you need a break, Douglas. <laughs> See, that's the kind of conniving answer I would give. <laughs> <laughs> if if I had if I had my uh, personal choice, if you if you have an idea right now that you can do, I say you make your own shit up. If not, and you don't want to put in the work or the time, and I completely understand that, just pick a scenario that you think fits best and would be fun, and roll with that. Yeah. Okay. Generally speaking, I would expect there to be more combat than we have today because there was none today. Yeah, and you don't you only kill at least a couple of people, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but in uh, the way I, I would say it goes is normally it does go like this in that it's a meet with Johnson, some prep work, and then some ex- and then uh, executing the plan work. Yeah, that's how most Shadow One games go. Yeah, so uh, you're welcome to criticize me. I take criticism really quite well. I don't cry until a day or two later. <laughs> uh, and I don't do that online. I only do it, you know, when I've got my mommy to hold on to me. Um, <laughs> it looks like a bird. That's my only criticism. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what like a bird? You look like a bird. Do I? Oh, that's the. I didn't make that. Uh, you can blame Zarek for that. What? What I do? Where do I look like a bird? I haven't got a logo anywhere. And what? his token is does not look like a bird, dude. His token is a robot. Jesus Christ. Uh... Like, where where are oh, you yeah. seeing? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's a ro- robot. Like, a... uh, yes, okay, fine. Um, you're, you're welcome to criticize me. I take criticism reasonably well. Uh, I think. I hope. Um. Yeah, so whatever you guys want. I, I'm i not particularly stressed either way. Eh. Let, let's I mean, see. If you, if you guys are are, uh, are more comfortable, you know, going back to Chicago, I my character doesn't really have a lot of ties here. So he go for where the work is. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I mean, pretty much uh, I was thinking we go back to Chicago and try out one of the uh, Ameri- American monthlies. Uh, okay, I'll look one of those up. That's fine. Uh, six karma, if anyone cares about karma, you probably care about karma, don't you? You're greedy fuckers, I'm sure you are. Yeah. I'm not yeah. that greedy, Douglas. Yeah, I know you thought your dice pool's really small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know, right? I mean, I mean, come on, 18 dice to shoot a pistol, That that's not that big. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's okay. Eighteen dice is good. Eighteen dice is fine. Uh, how much, how, I'm sorry. Did you say we got six karma? Six karma, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So and remember, and remember, for every ten karma, you get one street cred, including our starting. Yeah. Oh, well, not so the have... not the uh, not the core rule starting karma. The, the fifteen karma extra he gave you, which I wouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, let's just say this. When it comes to when it comes to everything, I'm the nice one. Oddly enough. Well, okay. unless we have anything else to do. Hmm. Well, I was just gonna do like a and like an end interview for you guys real quick and see how you feel about everything. Yeah. Okay. So what did you guys think of your first game with the Late Night Bastards? I was very happy with it. 
Yeah, it was fun. Anything anything you feel needs to be worked on? We can use a mage. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need a mage. <laughs> yeah, about that. Ethan. Uh, Even at least uh, with all these adepts, does, could nobody perceive astrally at least? <laughs> you have to be a mystic adept in order to use astral perception. Uh, okay. And guess who? Guess guess which two adepts didn't go uh, mystical? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite hard to build a mystical adept unless you really trick it. Yeah. Uh, we can get some mage goggles. We can get some mage goggles. I'd let I'd let you buy. I'd let, I'd create a power and to let you buy that for for one power point, if that's the word. Oh, Douglas. Uh, um. Another thing yeah. that we can probably do, if you're also looking for uh, like a like a run to do or something like that, um, we can work off of backstories as well. Uh, yes, I should. Because yeah. because I think at least two of us are have ties to uh, gangs, and that opens up a lot of opportunities. It does. I haven't thought about that too, too much. Yeah, and yeah, he he's uh, used my tough and targeted before, so. That's where the whole She-Ra thing comes from. Uh, of course, as, as a technomancer, people are always looking for me. Yeah. So. <laughs> and apparently you've been outed as a technomancer, so... I was, but I'm not using that sin anymore. And I, you know, I pretty much burned that identity as much as possible. Somebody probably knows, but... I mean, if yeah, wait till you hear about the circumstances of why I left my gang. I'm I'm sorry, but uh, my past is currently within the darkness. That is the past. Mine's uh, in a Google Docs. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, my character does have a backstory, but it's pretty much just like. Hey, he was born to Shadowrun parents. He he has been running ever since he could walk and shoot a gun and do all that shit. Milk runs, of course, but I mean quick the milk run down on Volk. Huh? I said quick run down on Volk. Born on the streets of Chicago, fell into a gang called the Chicago Sinners. They were a motorcycle gang with. Uh, the leadership being very pro humanists <laughs> Some of them even being card-carrying members. Yep. Hen hence why he has a bias. Yep. So that's why you're racist. Yes. Yeah. But, nah. My, my character, he has seen his parents actually get betrayed by another runner that they knew. Hence why he values loyalty above everything else. Hence why he sees... Volk as one of his best friends due to the fact that he follows Dragon Slayer. Well, hi. <sighs> because if if a member of Dragon Slayer makes a promise, they have to keep it or suffer penalties. Yep. And the reason I left the gang was because <clears throat> I did work as the gang as a dealer. BTLs, drugs, whatever the fuck. And let my prejudices slide one night to have a go with an elf BTL junkie for a fix. Mm, how was it? Eh, she just laid there. So she was Asian. <laughs> Close enough. Sorry, that was horrible. I apologize. And because I wanted to try my hand at running anyway, I stole a member's bike and lit the fuck out of there. Yeah. Uh, do you, don't you, like, have a target on your back from them or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> one, because I stole from them. One, because two, because I left. And three, because I fucked the elf junkie. Yep. All right, guys, I got bounce. All right, man, you have a good night, all right? Yep, you too. See you next week. See, see you next week.
Yeah, see you guys. Later, Sean. Yeah. Okay, now he finally left. Alright, folks. Everyone's leaving, so Douglas and I shall bid you all adieu. You all have a wonderful evening, and as always, I've been your illustrious host, Lord Zedek Tigrarius Haruk. And remember, I love you all. Good night. Say good night, Douglas. <laughs>